What up, what up, Salvador Brabant here. Welcome back to the Crowdfunding Demystified YouTube channel. On this channel, we love to talk about crowdfunding and specifically how you can turn your ideas into real things in the world, how to turn your passion into profit. And really at the end of the day, how do you use crowdfunding to really level up, whether it is your career as a podcaster, whether it comes to creating new products in the world, whatever you're trying to do, we talk about crowdfunding on this channel. And specifically today, I wanna to get into Patreon, which is one of the top subscription-based crowdfunding websites out there and how you can specifically use this if you are a podcaster in order to create recurring income for what you love doing, and ideally also be able to do this full-time in your own career. So we'll be talking about that today, getting to what you need to know if you wanna start your own Patreon campaign, some of the ins and outs, some of the advice and tips, and it's coming up right after this. All right, man, so you wanna start your own Patreon campaign. Again, this is a form of subscription-based crowdfunding where you're basically getting income on a recurring basis from your patrons. So how are you gonna actually go out there and actually start this campaign? I'm gonna kind of break up this video in a couple different sections. The first is the actual tactics behind that. The second is a little bit of the advice and strategy. And fourth, or third, is some of the resources which you can use from there. So again, my name is Salvador Brigman. I run the blog at crowdcrux.com. And I love putting out content like this on crowdfunding. If it's one of your first times here, would love for you to also check out some of my other videos that I got out there on YouTube. But if you've been watching this for a while, give me a thumbs up because that helps so much when it comes to the YouTube algorithm, as you know. So let's get into this. Okay, so the first thing that you should know when it comes to Patreon is that you're basically creating a campaign. And when you're going on Patreon and creating a campaign, I have a whole tutorial about this down below. We can actually look at, and you can see the step-by-step -step process of actually setting up a campaign. I also have a free course out there on Patreon, walking you through some of the best practices, which you can check out down below. So the first thing that you wanna know is that in order to do a Patreon campaign, why is it that people are supporting you on a recurring basis? Why are they supporting you on a monthly basis or on a per creation basis? So the first thing before we get into that is to understand that when you're doing a Patreon campaign, people can be supporting you on a monthly basis or on a per creation basis. So a per creation basis, for example, would be a new podcast, which you are putting out. A monthly basis is exactly as it sounds, on a monthly basis, right? Not super scientific and difficult to get into that one. So they're supporting you in one of two different ways. And you have to make that decision decision when you're actually creating your Patreon account. How the heck do you want to get paid? When you're also creating your Patreon campaign, you have to decide the level that you want to have a campaign on Patreon. So the most basic level, you're basically giving away 5% as a platform fee to Patreon itself, the actual platform in order to run your campaign. In addition, there are credit card processing fees on top of that, but 5% is where it starts. And then it goes upwards from there. Uh, I believe right now it's at around 8%. If you want to extend it functionality around 12%, if you want to have more functionality than that, so you can go and look and learn a little bit more about that. But the first thing you should know is that it doesn't cost you anything to actually start the campaign, but in order to keep it running, in order to actually continue to get paid, you're going to have to be giving away a percentage fee and that goes to Patreon itself and as well a credit card process processing fee. The next thing to point out here is that once you've understood that, you then have to come up with things that people are going to want to receive in exchange for actually subscribing to your Patreon campaign. So what I mean by that, I mean reward tiers, they're also known as membership levels on Patreon. Basically, if someone's supporting at the $5 per month tier or the $10 per month tier or the $15 per month here, what are they getting from you at the end of the day? Are they getting access to uh, an expanded podcast, which maybe you're just publishing there with the ability to have almost a live stream where they're interacting with guests and being able to ask guests direct questions? Um, are they in some way getting access to you, the way in which you actually create the podcast and learning more about your production behind closed doors? What are they getting access to and at which level? So the reason why people are supporting your campaign is on a recurring basis is that they want to continue to get access to these membership levels. And the things that you're offering in those got to be freaking enticing. So not only people decide to join, but also that they stay around when it comes to your campaign. You have a high lifetime value of the particular customer. Now to kind of make this easier, Patreon also has some different kits out there, which are available for podcasts. Where you can just kind of pick those kits if you want to. And it's basically already pre-made ideas of which rewards or which perks you can offer under these different membership levels. So we've gotten a little bit already into the pricing. We talked a little bit about why people are supporting you. Let's talk a little bit about your page. So when you're actually creating this podcast, right? This is basically the free information which you're putting out there to the world, okay? You're putting a free podcast and you're doing that in order to establish an audience in the same way that I have. I got a podcast called Crowdfunding Demystified, which is published on Spotify, on iTunes. I also have a ver version here on YouTube. And I love interviewing guests when it comes to crowdfunding and kind of unearthing some of the tricks of the trade that go into making these campaigns work, making people actually get funding for the project. So go and check it out if you wanna learn more about that. But when it comes to 
you're putting out free education information. You might also have sponsors in some way, right? But you're putting out free education, usually information. It could be entertainment related. It could be something that's interesting. It could be about a TV show, whatever it is. You want to think of the Patreon campaign as almost a layer deeper in value. So hear me out here. You basically have this free information, right? Which you're putting out there and that establishes a big audience of people that want to listen to that information. Then within a smaller circle, these are the people that are like your diehard, hardcore fan. If you think about it, um, almost similar to like a rock band or something like that, you have the people that are fans and then are listening, right? When it comes to new music that they're putting out. And then you have like the diehard fans who really want to meet the concert artists. They want to go backstage. You know, they really want to have that VIP experience. That's really more of what a Patreon campaign is about. It's really about coalescing your diehard fans. The people that do want to support your creative work. They do want to actually get access to things that other people are not getting access to. So you have your overall community, right? And then you have this micro community within that, which you are then using to monetize and to actually bring cash in the door so you can reinvest into your podcast and also obviously so you can earn an income. So where am I going with this? What I'm basically saying is that in order to get those people excited, not only do you need interesting perks and rewards at these membership levels, also got to have a killer page, a page that actually explains what's the benefits of joining your community. If you wanted to, you could do a video. You know, video is a super powerful way to connect with someone else around the world. You could do a video. You could also have text on that page if you wanted to, and just really drawing people's attention to what the heck are they getting when they actually join this particular community. The other thing that you're going to need is kind of a marketing strategy, I would say, that's going into this. So hear me out. You are thinking about this. Okay, your wheels should be turning. Okay, so like I, I hear you, Sal. I understand. I got to have perks and rewards, things to offer at different membership levels. There's a credit card processing fees. There's a platform fee. I'm getting a little bit of a better idea of how to do this Patreon campaign. Want to take all the stress out of fulfilling your Kickstarter rewards? Fulfillrate is the turnkey solution that puts product delivery on autopilot. The top campaigns use this trusted high-tech provider to store, package, and ship their products. Focus on growing your business. Leave shipping to the experts. Don't wait. Get a custom quote from Fulfillrate today. Link in the description. Next, what you really want to think about is, okay, if I'm going to do this campaign, how the heck am I going to get this out there? So the, I'd say the actual tactics of setting up a Patreon is not terribly difficult, which I think was why so many people out there actually setting up these subscription-based crowdfunding campaigns. It's a growing trend. I'm telling you so many creative types out there, so many podcasters, so many YouTubers, so many writers are setting up Patreon campaigns. And you can learn more about the tactics that go into that and a little bit of the strategy in my free course down below. But that being said, I want to leave you with a couple of different bits of advice when it comes to the actual strategy to doing this. So this is all, this is all an exercise in marketing. What do I mean by that? I mean that once you actually create this community, right, which people are paying in order to get access to this, you need to market this to your tribe. And you also need to have a strategy behind that. So it's not enough just to have this and to try to announce it. You want to have an entire campaign. So when you talk about your entire community, how are you going to spread awareness within that community where people know the value of actually joining your Patreon campaign? How are you going to embed information within the various content that you're putting out on podcasts, you've gone on other people's podcasts in order to funnel new traffic and new people into your Patreon campaign. So the more that you really begin to grow up and actually think about this as almost from a business sense, but from a marketing sense, how do you get people excited? How do you get them to be aware of the benefits of joining your Patreon campaign? And also, how do you actually kind of tease exclusive content, which is available within that exclusive Patreon campaign? The more that you can really dial in on the marketing, the more traffic you're going to send. It's literally like a river of traffic to this campaign. You have more people actually convert into patrons, patrons, and then there's also a strategy when it comes to the lifetime value of those patrons and making sure that they stay around, they stay subscribed to your Patreon campaign. So that way they don't just like join for one month and then leave, right? You want to make sure that they're staying there because that really maximizes the lifetime value of the customer. The way that I tend to see this working with students of mine and also readers, I do have a guide out there on Patreon as well. Um, the way that I usually see this working is that their community tends to grow along alongside their overall brand. So hear me out. If they are a podcaster and they're growing their audience month after month after month, they're seeing a lot of great benefits, right? As well, when it comes to having more sponsors and they're seeing the community grow and more listens per episode, more downloads per episode, that's great. That's awesome. What ends up usually happening is that as your community is growing, so too in parallel does your Patreon campaign. So if you're just kind of a beginner and you don't really have a community, you don't really have a tribe yet, it might not be the best time to really you know, be like, okay, I'm going to quit my full-time job 
job, I'm gonna do this full time, it's gonna be supplement that income, right? That's really not gonna happen until you actually begin to grow your actual community. As you grow your actual community, what you'll notice is that your Patreon is also growing at the same time. And I've seen this happen time and time and time again. In addition, there are different strategies up there uh, when it comes to like changing up your reward tiers, different ways to continue to engage patrons, different ways to grow your campaign, which kind of go beyond the scope of the video. But one thing that you should know is that this is for the long haul. This is a long haul process. Unlike doing a Kickstarter campaign or an Indiegogo campaign, which is kind of like a river of traffic and funding within a very compressed time period, Patreon is really for the long haul. It's for you if you want to make sure that you're monetizing your creative work, you're bringing in additional revenue streams, you're growing a community over time, which is extremely powerful, right? It really has a very strong foundation, but it's not going to happen in the course of 30 days, right? Unless you already have a massive community and you're just monetizing it. If you're just kind of getting started, you have a smaller community or a medium sized community, it's probably more likely that as your community grows, so too will your income on the Patreon campaign platform. The final thing that I want to leave you with, and then we're going to just go through some checklist items so that you don't, you take away this information from the video. Um, the final thing I want to leave you with is that in addition to having a marketing strategy for your Patreon campaign, this honestly is probably, I'd say, when most beginning creators actually even start to think about marketing for their business. And I know that's crazy, that's insane, right? But it's actually when I'd say the majority of creators out there, if you are a podcaster, even begin to think about marketing in general for your brand. Begin to think about building your different social media channels, begin to think about different ways of actually engaging people beyond social media in order to build your brand, your marketing presence, to be able to get media hits, all of these different things. So there's a a lot that goes into marketing that you should really begin to experiment with. I think that Patreon is actually a great starter where it's like by devising this campaign and learning how to market it, you're also learning a lot about how to market your brand. This is another huge thing which you're going to go through. So I talk about a lot of the nuts and bolts of how to do this, first of all, on a free video, which I have out there when it comes to my Patreon tutorial. But in addition, if you want to learn more about some of the techniques that you can use to get more patrons, some of the ways which you can get traffic quickly on your campaign, some of the techniques as well that work super well, particularly if you are a newbie, go and check out my free course on Patreon. This is going to be an incredible resource for you. So that way you can get speed quickly. You don't have to actually hunt around and try to learn all this stuff. You can literally just dial in, you can get focused, and you can really just streamline this entire process when it comes to setting up a Patreon campaign and growing this arm of your business. Really view this as bigger than just one-off campaign. This is something where you're developing recurring streams of income. So that way you can continue to grow these and they can actually supplement different areas of your business as well. A lot of the things I teach as well are also applicable to your business in general when it comes to marketing. We also talk obviously a lot about specificity when it comes to the Patreon campaign platform. So make sure you check out that course down below, that free Patreon course. In addition, if you wanna learn more about podcasting, I have a great free podcasting tutorial um, actually walking you through how to improve your podcasting voice. This is something that was so challenging for me and difficult for me when I was getting started. But once I actually started to work on my voice, I'd send to see just tons and tons of more people that were receptive to my podcast. I, it led to many different speaking gigs that I've had over the years. So I really think that learning how to improve your voice as a podcaster is something that is going to serve you for your lifelong career. And if it's something that you feel like you struggle with, I also got a free guide on this that I'd love to have you check out. I will link to that one as well down below. But I hope that you enjoyed this video for getting started. Some of the things to think about again are what are you going to offer in terms of your reward tiers or your membership levels? How are you going to construct a marketing strategy? to actually tell and bring awareness and also traffic to the Patreon campaign which you are launching. Another thing to think about would be how am I going to construct that actual Patreon campaign? What am I going to do when it comes to which tier am I going to use in terms of enrolling with Patreon and what percentage do I want to give away when it comes to the actual platform? So a lot of different things to think about. Hopefully you begin to mold this over. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Come subscribe to this channel for more content just like this and I will see you next time.